Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. So as the title suggests, I am going to be making a mallet in this particular video. So the wood I'm using is actually beech. Um, this is the hardest wood I have to hand and also the strongest. So I started off making the head first. Um, here you can see it's marking out. Um, I did actually go 3 degrees off 90 degrees, so that's like 87 degrees either side um just marked out um and obviously marked out for the santa hole i'm going to drill so out comes the old trusty um i'll always have a brace and bits i think they're absolutely excellent um so still to this day i do actually prefer to be on top of the piece um this probably goes back to me using um, a roman workbench for so long so when i am actually drilling um i do actually drill from both sides um this pretty much guarantees a nice straight um hole which i did get a really nice straight hole it's a little bit unfortunate <laughs> because I didn't actually get a straight shaft um, as you'll see a little bit later So once everything's marked out, um, the hole has been drilled, um, then I cut the mallet head to its final size. I've said this in quite a lot of videos and in podcasts and whatnot, that I like to keep things, you know, as, as long as I can, so there's plenty of room for me to grab the piece in this particular instance, or for us to clamp it. I just find working like this is um, a lot easier. So now I just add a little chamfer, this is just to make things nice and comfortable, um, you know, make it look a little bit better as well on the eye. So I grabbed one of my pegs and it turns out that the length of the peg is just a nice length um, for the handle or at least for me. So I pretty much took the length of the peg and transferred it to the beach, um, cut it down to size and started shaping it. So here I'm just marking out with a compass, um, I actually drew two circles here, one's for the tenant and one's just a bit of a guide here for when I start removing some of the material as you can see what I'm doing right now. So shaping the handle, it took a really really long time, um, if you don't want to spend as much time um, you could actually just square this down, um, you know, and it still would be usable but I kind of had an idea in my head and I just went with it. Once I'd removed some of the corner material, um, I started cutting for the tenants. Um, I did actually take my time with this, um, especially on this section here, because I didn't want to weaken the shaft. Um, so I just um, went round and round and round and, you know, it just took me time so I didn't actually cut into the shaft that's going to be left.
So I started removing some of the corners. This is just to speed the process up. Um, and then I went to town with the Shinto rasp and um, got rid of uh, you know the rest of the material. So you should be able to see the shaft chart. It's not <laughs> very square. Um, luckily for me, I was actually kind of able to crack it a little bit um, when I did start removing some of the material off um, the the main shaft where my hand is actually going to be. So this point that's coming up uh, where I'm actually putting the taper, um, this took a very long time. I say a very long time. I've done the whole mallet in about an hour and a half, just over an hour and a half-ish, I think. That's including moving the camera around and such. Um, but it did actually feel a lot longer than that. Um, as I said, this was quite hard work. There was a lot of material to, uh, to remove, but... Um, I got so far down with the planes um, and just had to start using the spoke shift just to get into the bottom section or the other section that's uh, making contact with the head of the mallet just to make things look really nice or at least to me really nice um, around it over the bottom as well. I gave everything sanding over just to make sure everything was nice and smooth. You know, it felt comfortable in the hand. I added some glue, got the handle seated, um, and got it wedged up. So here I'm just adding some finish. This is a Sam Maloof finish. Um, I've been using this for the last few months. I actually quite like it. Yeah, I think I'm going to continue using it. I may actually add um, another coat of this um, tomorrow. Um, see how I go with it. So that's it guys. Let us know what you think. Um, leave a comment. If you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribing and you want to help the channel out, subscribe. And until the next time, I shall see and speak to you guys later.